Hey everybody, this is Jake with Geek Out Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to better secure your Mac by setting up a dummy guest account, turning off automatic login, enabling location services, and setting a firmware password. In the event that your Mac is stolen or lost, this will help prevent anyone from destroying or accessing your data. It will prevent anyone from erasing the hard drive and reinstalling the operating system, and it will allow somebody to access the internet so that you can locate your Mac using iCloud. Okay, let's get to it. First, let's make sure you're not automatically logging in when you boot up your Mac. Open System Preferences and go to Users and Groups. Unlock if necessary so you can make changes and select Login Options. Select Off for Automatic Login. Now you'll have to log in every time you turn on your computer. Next, we want to set up an almost useless guest account. Select Guest User. Do not allow the guest account to connect to shared folders. You want to allow a guest to log onto the computer and let's enable parental controls. Open parental controls and you want to limit the applications that can be used. I'm not going to allow the use of apps from the App Store. Now I'm going to go through all the other apps and allow them to use only simple applications like Calculator. Also, I'm going to allow them to use browsers. I want to allow the use of browsers so whoever has the computer will stay connected to the internet as long as possible. This will help out if you need to use iCloud to locate your Mac. Next, click on the Web tab and allow them unrestricted access to websites. Again, we want whoever has the computer to stay online. The rest of the settings should be fine the way they are. That's all I'm going to do with parental controls. So let's set up location services. Go back to the main system preferences and click on security and privacy. Select the privacy tab and select location services. Unlock if necessary and enable location services. That's about it in system preferences. I'm going to lock the system preferences back up and shut down the computer. Turn on the computer and hold down the option key. You can set the firmware password from either the recovery drive or a bootable mountain lion disk. If you need help creating a bootable USB mountain lion thumb drive, click this annotation. I'm going to choose the recovery drive. Choose utilities and firmware password utility. Turn on firmware password and enter your password. I highly recommend writing this password down and keeping it in a safe place. If you forget this password, you're most likely going to end up taking your Mac to Apple to have the password reset. And that's something you don't want to do. So quit this utility and restart your computer and you're done. If you try to boot from anything by holding down the option key, this is what you'll see. This is where you enter your firmware password. You can then boot from the recovery drive and turn off the firmware password if need be. Just remember, if you're going to sell or give away your computer, make sure you turn the firmware password off. This is what it'll look like when you boot your Mac normally. I'm going to select the guest account and I'm going to try to run Mountain Lion install. And you can see here, I can't do it. And that's perfect. Now that I'm logged into the guest account like someone would be if they stole my computer, I'm going to go to iCloud.com on my other Mac and locate my MacBook Pro. Log in with your Apple ID and select Find My iPhone. It should be something like Find My Device, but eh, it's all good. You can see that it's located my devices pretty close, just one or two houses off. At this point, if your Mac is stolen, I would highly recommend talking to the police and having them retrieve your computer. And that's it. This is Jake with Geek Out Tech. Please like, subscribe, and thanks for watching, and I hope you never have your computer stolen.